How's it going everybody and welcome to a very cold 30 degree Chicago. Uh, but today we have a very exciting video for you today because we're going to be getting nice and toasty and going for a drive just in a little bit different of a way than normal. Because today we are going to be demoing Cadillac Super Cruise. This is one of my favorite technologies in all of the car industry and I think it is just going to make life so much easier for everyone that has it. I wish my car had Cadillac Super Cruise and I'm going to tell you why. So let's go hop in let's go for a little drive all right well now that it's all nice and warm let's go over what Cadillac Super Cruise actually is so Super Cruise is Cadillac's level 2 autonomous driving technology it uses a bunch of cameras and sensors around the vehicle to monitor what's going on on the road around you and it's actually going to be able to do some autonomous driving level 2 autonomous driving is where it's going to use the cameras and sensors around the car to map the road ahead of you to know where other cars are and other obstacles and it's going to be able to steer brake and accelerate all on its own. It does require human input from time to time. There is actually a infrared camera in front of the steering wheel that's actually going to be looking at your eyes to make sure that you're focusing on the road so that you're able to take over whenever needed. Most Cadillac models now are available with Super Cruise. There are a couple that aren't. Right now I'm in a 2025 Cadillac Lyric. It's one of my favorite Cadillac models. It's just fantastic in everything that it does. One of the best EVs on the market, I believe. And especially this one with its red exterior and this amazing kind of off-white gray interior. I absolutely love it. Looks fantastic. It is just so smooth to drive. It's a great all-around car, and especially having this amount of range that it's capable of and this level of technology. It is just a great all-around package. Really, really love the Lear. Can't recommend it enough. Now, one thing that's important to note about Super Cruise is that it only works on highways and tollways as of right now. It has to be a road that the navigation system, which is all run by Google Maps and Cadillac, recognizes. So it's one that's already been pre-mapped. I'm sure that during the development of of this technology someone actually drove on this road and tested it out uh, so that way that the cameras and the sensors and the vehicle itself knows what's coming up ahead of you whether it be left turns right turns things like that where the exits are where you know lane medians are if you know the lane shift over uh, due to construction things like that it has to know those things to be able to dictate and make its decisions as it's autonomous driving a couple cool things that it can also do is that this car can automatically lane change so if you have the adaptive cruise control set it is going to see that the car in front of you isn't going as fast as you are it will actually change lanes to go around that car and then get back in its original lane uh, it can speed up with the flow of traffic slow down with the flow of traffic as long as what you don't go over what you have set on the adaptive cruise control which you adjust through the steering wheel I've tested it out before it works very very well and it is just a really relaxing feature if you have a long commute or drive on the highways to and from work this is going to be a lifesaver for you I know that I have about an hour drive to and from work and I wish that I could just sit back watch the road go by and let the car do all the work so let's go test it out and I'll show you what it's like all right just to go over some of the controls as far as cruise control goes I'll show this more while we're out driving but just to give you a little preview uh, of course it's not going to do anything while I'm parked here but I'll show you all the steps so this button here, this is for your adaptive cruise control. This is where it's going to lock onto the car in front of you. So if they speed up, you speed up. If they slow down, you slow down. This button shuts off adaptive cruise control. So when you're done with it or you get off the highway, you just press that, it goes off, it starts driving like normal. This is where you're going to adjust the distance for your uh, adaptive cruise control. So you see when you press the button, it's going to show these three little icons here. That is going to be your distance from the car in front of you, which you can adjust with this toggle here. You're going to see a little graphic show up, and that is where you're going to choose the following distance of the car that you are behind. So uh, if you don't mind a little bit more room, you can keep it at the three levels there. If you don't mind the car getting a little bit closer, you can adjust it and move it to its kind of closest setting. Of course, this is all also going to depend on the speed that the car in front of you is driving. So again, if the car slows down in front of you, then this car will automatically start braking as well, as long as the adaptive cruise control is on. And then to activate Super Cruise, you're going to press this button here. You'll see a little green light light up on the wheel there. And then you'll also see a green light on the top of the steering wheel. This all lights up green. Uh, and that is going to let you know that Super Cruise is active and that it is doing its thing. And it is okay to take your hands off the steering wheel. 
Of course, you do have that infrared camera right there that is actually going to be looking at your eyes to make sure that you're looking at the road and not down at your phone being distracted. If it knows that you're looking at the road, it will maintain Super Cruise and allow you to keep your hands off the wheel. After a while, it will ask you to kind of nudge the wheel just to make sure again that you're paying attention. So let's go try it out. All right, we're going to be hopping out to 290 in Chicago. This is a pre-scanned road. It is ready. It is in the system. I've double-checked that before. So let's go on a Super Cruise. All right, now we are on the highway. I've seen an icon show up in the instrument cluster with the Super Cruise symbol on it. So now all we have to do is turn on our adaptive cruise control by hitting the button on the steering wheel there, and then we'll press the Super Cruise button. Green light goes on, and we're in Super Cruise. Feet off the pedals, hands off the steering wheel. Car is going to be driving itself. Again, all you have to do is just make sure that you're looking at that infrared camera between the spokes on the steering wheel and the car is again just going to do all the work for you. Right now we have our speed set to 65. If we want to raise that a little bit, again just go up on the little toggle on the steering wheel there. Let's go up to 70. Oh, the car, the semi truck in front of us just braked, so I felt the car brake as well. You can see the car doing minor little steering inputs there also. And again, as long as that light is green on the top of the steering wheel, you are good to go. If you do want to make a lane change yourself, you can always just turn on the turn signal. It will look for an opening. We have a graphic on the screen there as well. So once it knows that there's plenty of room, we're going to see we're going to be making our lane change there. Again, all hands free. And there we go. Successful lane change. And now we are speeding up to our set speed in the adaptive cruise control. You see we got a little bend in the highway here. It's taking it no problem. We're sticking right at 70 miles an hour, right as right at what I have it set to. And the car wants me to get over again, so it's again changing lanes. Lane change is complete. now it'll be moving us into the far left lane. It's keeping us exactly in the middle of this lane here, which is always nice. I always find most people, whenever they're actually driving, they're always going to put themselves in the middle of the lane, which is actually not right. You want to be a little bit off to the left side. And we are definitely right in the middle of the lane, going to be even distances on both sides of the wheels to the lane lines. This car will bring you to a full stop if you're on the highway and traffic builds up. It will take off again, but in an emergency situation, the car will require you to do the active braking and steering. So if, say, the car in front of you really slams on the brakes or there is an accident up ahead of you, you will have to take over control to avoid that situation. But you can see it's been about two minutes now. Again, if you're just looking at the road ahead of you, it's gonna take this turn no problem. Hands off the wheel. You're just sitting here enjoying the ride. Again, since this car also knows this road, it knows that if you have too high of a speed set for a turn that's coming up, it will also actively brake the car to slow you down to make sure that you can make that turn. 
but honestly it's doing a very very good job at driving I have no uh, kind of uh, qualms or say hey I could drive a human could drive this car better uh, I think it's doing a fantastic job again it just made room to move over for a lane probably recognized the car behind us was kind of uh, tailgating us a little bit so it's giving them room to go over go around yeah, Super Cruise is absolutely fantastic. It works very, very well, and I can't wait to see again these next steps in this technology. I think that it is just going to make a world of a difference for all of the commuters in the world. I think that it is going to lower uh, crash statistics. I think it's going to help drivers uh, stay more focused. Everyone's on their phones these days. Everyone's looking down, not paying attention. So it is great to be able to just have a system where it will take care of all the hard work for you, get you home safe. And then once you're done using Super Cruise, all you have to do is press the button on the steering wheel, green light goes off, and you are now in control. Of course, your adaptive cruise control is still gonna be on as well, so you can shut that off independently, and then you'll be able to operate the gas pedal on your own as well. But again, to get back into Super Cruise, all you gotta do is turn on that adaptive cruise control, hit the Super Cruise button, and you're good to go. So that's gonna wrap up my demo on Super Cruise. Again, it is just a fantastic bit of technology. I wish every car had this. I wish my car had it. I would use it every single day. And yeah, I could sit here on a road trip, no problem, have trust in the car that it's gonna get me there safely. Yeah, just a fantastic, fantastic bit of technology. All right, thank you all so much for watching the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Hope you're staying warm out there and driving safe because in the end of the day, that's what these autonomous vehicles are all about. They're all about safety and getting you from point A to point B all in one piece and in a very relaxing way. So uh, stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Make sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day.